And finally, with the passing of Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, the clock is ticking for Republicans in the Senate to confirm a new Supreme Court justice. And even though the Democrats don't control the Senate, Speaker Nancy Pelosi noted that they still have some tricks up their sleeves to delay. If those tricks don't work, we have a few more. Let's check them out. Hold breath, 30 seconds. Talk very slowly. Two days. Wiggle one hand in the air and then slap Mitch McConnell in the face with the other hand. Only 12 seconds, but fun. Ask for the nominee's language of origin, then ask if they can use the nominee in a sentence, then ask if there are any other pronunciations, then ask if you can use the restroom. 45 minutes. Take Bear, this is the craziest song. <laughs> are we just, we're just gonna just go, we're just gonna continue without uh, noticing this. I'm gonna feel like a lunatic the rest of the day. Take very tiny steps everywhere you go. Six hours. <laughs> Nancy Pelosi fakes her death, lies in repose in the Capitol building for up to a week, but just before they bring her to the cemetery, she stands up and does the wiggle one hand and slap Mitch McConnell thing. One week, 12 seconds. Sing the 99 bottles of beer song twice. Three days. <laughs> Dance like nobody's watching. To this song, one hour. Make them watch The Irishman. I don't know, I think seven hours? Have Obama re-record his State of the Union speech from 2011, but with extra uhs. Uh, four hours. Make a reasoned argument as to why the next president should be afforded the chance to select his own Supreme Court justice, just as Donald Trump got to fill the vacancy left by Antonin Scalia because it took place in an election year. Just kidding, pull the fire alarm one hour. Think about baseball, 30 minutes. Steal Lindsey Graham's glasses and put them on a high shelf, three hours. I just feel like <laughs> if you choose this song, you gotta play it for the host first. <laughs> it's like very hard to do a piece of comedy that I've rehearsed the comedy, just never heard the song before. And you just have it in your ear while you're trying to do another thing. And you just are just like, who wrote this? What was it originally for? Like, what were the people doing when this guy, whoever wrote this, when they played it for people, what were they doing? Was it like, yeah, it could work. And then what was the thing it could work for? Anyway, back to the sketch. Watch the last two minutes of an NBA game, two hours. Tell Trump that he needs to sign off on the confirmation and that the form is in the corner of the Oval Office six days. Try to vote in person in an urban area of Georgia, 13 hours. Explain Twin, Twin Peaks, 40 years. This song was probably in Twin Peaks. Pour a glass of Kool-Aid in Senate chamber and then wait for them to repair wall, three weeks. And finally, go back in time to the Founding Fathers to convince them to make it unconstitutional to nominate a Supreme Court justice in an election year, but then spend most of your time trying to explain who Donald Trump is and how we allowed that to happen. Minus 233 years, plus 10 hours. So don't worry, Democrats, you still have a few more cards to play. Uh, and if that doesn't work, just put on Lunatic's Lament, <laughs> the jazz classic. <laughs> My God, they can stop. <laughs>